Hey, what's up guys? Welcome, Daily Theologians. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a viral video from a teacher. Her name is Willet Vanenslot. Vanenslot? It's a tough one. Uh, she's a teacher in Loudoun County Schools, and recently they've been in the crosshairs or, or under fire because one of the teachers whose last name was Cross refused to admit that a boy could be a girl and a girl could be a boy, and he was opposing rightly, this uh, gender confusion uh, policy that was being placed on the school. They said, well, you're out of here, buddy. And uh, eventually, though, he got an injunction, and so now he's allowed to come back to school. So there's a heated thing happening here between the teachers and the school boards to some extent, and they're trying to get the school board removed for uh, pushing CRT. And so this is the speech public school teacher and I'm going to give a message of encouragement to parents and teachers and students who are too afraid to come and speak forward. Parents, the longer that you wait and you don't hold your child's schools accountable gives these guys more time to dictate what's best for your child's physical, mental, and emotional health. Don't be afraid to speak out for your kids because they are voiceless and they, and they rely on you. You should be afraid of them rooting for socialism by the time they get to middle school. Teachers, it may seem that our careers have come to a dead end, but I'm here to remind you, we don't work for the school board. We work to mold the next generation of well-rounded American patriots. So don't give up because it is up to us. Students, you are on the front lines of these indoctrination camps. Challenge the staff when you're presented with a ludicrous statement and do not allow anybody to tell you that you cannot accomplish anything because of your skin color or to hate yourself because of your skin color. Students, it is up to you to be the next generation of victims or victors. And finally, to the board, this isn't over and your policies are just as pathetic as making us wear masks. Nick Gothard, followed by Ryan. Now, what can we learn from this speech? I'm not gonna comment on everything she said. I think she's right in pretty much everything she said, but that's up for you to determine. My primary concern is that people repent and believe the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, because people around us are not in their right minds. And if you try to reform this school system, which I'm not saying give up on it, but I think it is going to be a losing battle. Here's what I mean. Liberal ideology does a punch. It does a it kind of testing and it's jabbing. And then guess what happens the next time? It's a little bit further back, a little bit further back. And pretty soon what used to be totally unthinkable is normal and normative. It works this way in comedy where you see uh, jokes that were once like nobody says that. Now it's not even funny to mention it. So they have to keep pushing the boundaries. And I don't really see any way back from this, uh, any way back from this uh, just hatred of everything culture <laughs> that we appear to be in. Uh, now, God could uh, save lots of people and change the hearts of people, and certainly that is possible. Uh, but as believers, we need to be prepared to love people no matter what side of the aisle they're on here politically or even ideologically. Um, they're not our enemies. These are people that are held captive to Satan and they are in chains. Now, do we love the fact that they're taking advantage of children and the vulnerable around us? Of course not, uh, not at all. But uh, this has been normative throughout human history. Now, it doesn't mean we like this, but it means we have to have uh, some resolve to focus on the main things, and that is that Jesus Christ lived a perfect, sinless life. He went to the cross willingly. He said, no one takes my life from me. He said, I lay it down freely, and I will take it back up again, just as Jonah was in the great fish for three days and three nights. So too will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. And Jesus did that 2,000 years ago on a place called Calvary. And the wrath of God, the hell that we deserve, was poured out on Jesus for the people that will repent and believe in his death, burial, and resurrection. There is no more condemnation. You can be reconciled to God through faith. And that is the ultimate issue facing humanity. And when that comes back into alignment and you are in your right mind again, then the other pieces will come back together. Now, I'm not commenting on what you should do or how you should do it with the school system or give up on the school system or give up on politics. I just personally, my opinion is that this train has left the station. I don't know how you pull it back in. There's too many people that have no more common restraint. The, the restraint of the Holy Spirit, the common grace sense of the use of the law to restrain sin and, and form morality, the value of family, it has been hacked to pieces at every level. And uh, so I'm not being pessimistic, but I am trying to uh, encourage us to be realistic here. The order of the day 
is the gospel. And that must always be our focus. And we must also remember to hammer that like button, like the 95 Theses. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And God bless. Oh, and also subscribe to the channel. Come on, what are you doing? We'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And God bless.